So a great place to go for color inspiration is Adobe Color. And I know I beat a dead horse because I talk about this site all the time, but I, I wish more people used it. Um, not only is it a great place to find other people's great schemes, so let's type in, actually, who knows? Let's type one in called Minnesota. There probably is a color scheme called Minnesota. Okay, well, of course, the Vikings, uh, you have Minnesota forest colors, etc. I mean, there are all sorts of different uh, color schemes in here. NFL, I shouldn't even be typing that right now. It's so controversial. Okay, different teams. So people have posted all these different palettes that you can use and basically download uh, for use in Illustrator or anywhere. But let's go to Create. And here what you can do is you can tilt this around and try to find analogous or monochromatic different color theories, uh, you know, complementary colors, different types of colors that go well together. And as you move this, it will find colors that match. So you never really have an excuse for designing a map with clashing colors that looks um, heinous. I mean, it's, it's, it used to be a science, and now they've made the science into this neat little tool. Shades, so if you want to find shades of different colors, or custom. So really, no excuse. Explore, have fun. You can find tons of colors. But one thing I love doing, when it, particularly when I see a really cool photograph or a piece of art that where the colors just like really pop out to me, and I'm like, "Gal, that is some beautiful color," is I like to take a picture on my phone. And then when I do, I know that I can always come here and upload a picture of that and steal a cool color palette from someone else's art or from some iconic scene in nature. And so when I was in Bemidji, I was taking photos of all sorts of things, including Paul and Babe. Uh, that's pretty much all Bemidji's known for is Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. And I downloaded these photos. Let's see, where are they? Here. And if I want to make a Bemidji scheme, I guess we could do that one. Or Pano. Okay. So what I can do is in color, go to create from image, find my desktop, da, da, da. open a photo, and it'll try to find kind of ideal colors from this photo that go well together, kind of a mood, um, a colorful mood. How about a bright mood, a muted mood? It's not changing too much. Dark, dark is dark. I'm going to stick with the colorful. So let's do that and hit save. It'll try to make me sign in. All right, we're going to do something different this time. Yes! All right, so we're going to name it Bemidji. Um, can I have different libraries? And I'll let other people explore this theme. That's fine. Now, here's where it gets interesting. You can download this as an Adobe Swatch, which means you can just import it directly into Illustrator and Photoshop, and these colors will be in your swatches. Um, you can also edit it. And I like to click Edit, not so much to edit the colors, although you can still tweak them a little bit. As you can see, you could make this a little darker. Um, you could add colors, etc. But down here, you get the RGBs. Now let's go back to Mapbox. And I was doing roads in a color similar to this. So let's click here. I'll click on road. And then if I click in here, I can click on RGB and we'll see they have an RGB scheme. So if I want to click here, 244, 189, 82. Apparently I can't type today. <laughs> All right, so now the roads actually mimic the color that was found in my photo. What about the water? Did I have a blue here? Let's go with this blue. I know it was the sky there, but 52, 152, 218.
but close enough. So those blues, uh, they look a lot darker. I don't know what's going on exactly there. Not cool. But you get the point here that you can create your own custom color schemes. 94, 114, 70. So let's do that one too. And it will mimic the picture that I uploaded. And this is a really cool way of um, finding, making your maps follow the style of either the place you've been through photography. I could, I could upload some other photos here too.